Hey guys, hope you're all doing well and hope you all had a good weekend. As you can see here, I have another box of Canadian nickels in front of me. I'm going to be coin roll hunting through this shortly. And of course, I'll go ahead and post the results for you guys shortly after that. But for this video, I just want to address a question that my brother and I have been asked quite frequently over the last few weeks and months. It's been asked by a number of individuals, and the questions sort of allude to how is it that me and my brother have been able to accumulate so many pennies and so many nickels in a relatively short time, and especially considering we've only hand-sorted our rolls. We've never purchased any of these coins, and we've never used a Rydale during the period that we've been coin roll hunting. And so I contemplated these questions for a little bit, sort of sat down, and I came up with one factor and one important ingredient that's going to help those individuals who want to go ahead and create a large hoard of pennies and nickels for themselves. And that one important factor is, guys, if you do want to create the large hoard, you have to be consistent with your coin roll hunting and that's really the only way that you're going to be doing it especially if you're hand sorting through the rolls like we are. As you guys know we've been coin roll hunting for a number of years. We have taken a few breaks but within those years guys looking back on it I have to say we were pretty consistent on a week by week basis of picking up our coins, sorting through them and then getting them back to the bank in order to get more of these coins the following week. So even before, I gotta sort of point something out here. Before we even put up our very first video on YouTube, for about a year, maybe a year and a half before that, we were going to the bank each and every week, picking up at least two boxes of pennies and at least a box of nickels and coin roll hunting through that each and every week, all by hand and then bringing them back to the bank, guys. So you've seen us be pretty consistent, but that consistency has sort of extended over the last couple of years, like I mentioned. So consistency is definitely the key, and it's definitely the one sort of factor that has allowed us to create such a large, ho large hoard of these coins. It hasn't been luck, guys. It hasn't been that we've been seeing a large yield from the boxes that we've been picking up. As you guys have probably noticed over the last couple of weeks, last couple of months, our yields have actually been decreasing. So a couple of times we will get lucky, but it's not luck, it's that consistency, like I said, that is definitely allowing us to accumulate so many of these coins. So you guys, you can have the orders at your bank, you can have your drop-off bank, you can have the perfect route, going by the bank, picking them up easily. Heck, you can even get lucky every now and then, but if you don't have that consistency, who knows? It For us, it's every week. For you, it might be a little bit less than that. It might be more. If you're not having that consistency, guys, you're probably not going to be creating a very large hoard for yourself. And if you guys look at not just coin roll hunting, but if you look at some of the other channels on YouTube who um, accumulate silver, you'll notice that they're not buying all their silver at once, guys. They're giving us weekly updates, monthly updates, and they're adding to their stack bit by bit on that consistent basis. And it's the same principle, guys. It's not just for silver. It's also for coin roll hunting. And that's sort of what we've been using over the last couple of years in order to build this large hoard of coins. And it's what we're going to be using going forward into the future and what we're going to be using to build our silver stack. So consistency is definitely the key, guys. I just wanted to put that out there. We're not getting lucky. I mean, sometimes we might get a little bit lucky, but for the most part, it's not luck. It's definitely consistency. So I hope you guys take that and sort of run with it. I hope you guys will remember that important factor. We watch a lot of your videos, guys, and we definitely root for you, and I hope you guys get more lucky and have higher yields than we have Sort of, I want you guys to take pride in the fact that we're doing something that not a lot of people will do and sort of a lot of people don't even think is possible. Sitting down, going through this entire box in front of me, that's pretty daunting for most people. But we're doing it, we're being consistent, and we're meeting our goals and building up our hoard. So take pride in that, guys. Let us know in the comments below if you agree with the consistency principle. If you could like, comment, and subscribe. That'd be greatly appreciated. We love hearing from you. Like I said, keep that consistency up, guys. I'll talk to you soon.